Hey everyone, welcome to more Beer on Weekly. Well, today's show is actually going to be a little bit different. And since we have no news today, and since everyone's still on the run about Mr. Beast, can you believe that? I gotta say, we're close to the new millennium. Actually, the new year, 2024. Yes, 2023 has come to a close. I know that in my life, we've been going through a lot of times. Yeah, a lot of times. But I remember thinking a lot of stuff that I remember seeing from when I was like a little kid. The year from when I got my intelligence in the fall from 10 years ago. And I know you guys wanted more me content, so today's Burn Weekly, I'm going to jot down for what happened from 10 years ago, 2013 to 2023, up to this year, so far. Man, 2013. I remember it was the year that we're still old, rousy, and really from the old TV junk and internet junk we remember seeing. Uh, that's mostly the teens, though, not the kids. I was a kid still, like, still in elementary. Like, in the fall, I got my intelligence, and I think close to the time Pharrell Williams' Happy became an instant hit. I don't remember, it was like, no, 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 yeah, yeah, Happy became an instant hit. Despicable Me 2 happened in 2013, and as I remember, man... 10 years since a lot of YouTubers that we used to know still got their popularity at that time, like Smosh, Ryan Higa, Ray William Johnson. As I remember, we were watching them. We were little, it was fine, but now as of today, when we look back at them, it was not pleasant. Like, I remember when you're watching episode equals three, and that episode was so intense, it's like, MOVE THAT CRAP OR I'LL KILL YOU! Or something like, YOU JUST WANNA GROW UP! Black baby and throw it! Now you get videos like this. NFL, what the dirty art frick is wrong with your organization? Your helmet is too tight or not tight enough. Because this is for real, you're not thinking straight. That's from Smosh 2023. Early 2023, months before Anthony returned. That's still crazy. Get that dumb bitch out of here, you crazy bitch! 10 years though. It was crazy back then. Literally crazy. As we all remember, Disney's Frozen made its introduction that year, 2013. When everyone saw the movie, we all thought that Queen Elsa was going to be the Disney villain. But uh, no, she's actually sisters with Queen Anna and Anna's very own lover, Kristoff, the prince. And, you, and of course, you need to have a sidekick with you, and that sidekick was Olaf. It's kind of because Olaf will be like, Hey everyone, follow my bounty butt! <laughs> no, that that never happened in the movie, actually. Ten years, though. We would have had a big sensation without them. What would have happened if Frozen didn't exist? But now we have a sequel to Frozen. Now Queen Elsa has became more intelligent and, and Queen Anna and Chris uh, gone to Coronation Day. But you gotta ask yourself, how much chocolate can you have when you're in Arendelle? Crazy. But can you imagine how the other Disney princesses feel when they're not, not enjoying the winter time? Ariel wouldn't be impressed because she lives under the sea with Sebastian and King Titan. And um, Snow White usually lives in the springtime, talking to her seven dwarves and other parts of nature. And I don't know where the heck Corona is located. You know, the island where Flynn Rider and Rapunzel live? I don't know. And I'm sure after one year of the iCarly cancellation, we get a new Nickelodeon spinoff that features two iconic stars from iCarly and Victorious. I'm sure, Sam Puckett and Cat Valentine. Sam Puckett, the friend of Carly and her bestie, who do a lot of vlogs and videos. We do a lot of video vlogs on their channel. And Kat, Tori's bestie, both from Hollow Arts. So what's the coincidence? The two of them merge together and we get Sam and Kat. This show has made a big transition for 2013. Ever. You get the biggest popularity of kid actors. I'm sure that's what Nickelodeon's popularity is all about. Sure, it was fine enough for all the kids out there. 
the baddest part is, the show got canceled after one season. And that's when Ariana Grande began her own solo career as a recording artist we know today. Just think of it, she used to be a such a cute red-headed chick that we all adore and love. And remember seeing on Victorious, now she changed her hair back to sort of like a brunette, blonde, brownish color. Kind of gold, to be exact, I think. And she won her first, and she won her first AMA at the, and she won her first AMA at the time. It's such a coincidence when your own special doesn't do well for the show. Ten years though, at that time, now it's available to stream because now we have Paramount Plus. I just find it weird back in 2013. I was a bit of a a spoiled brat back then. But as I got into my last year in elementary, I got a little more into the intelligence level. 10 years, everyone's still loving that Dirty Rock show on NBC. Yeah, with the Tina Fey and Tracy Morgan and Alec Baldwin. And everyone's still crazy about that ABC show, The Bachelor and that Bachelorette. You know, battle to find a perfect love marriage. 10 years, though, everyone was listening to that Robert Dick Blur Lions hit. Or still loving that new Psy Gentleman, besides Gangnam Style. And, uh... I'm sure everyone's still thinking about calling maybe or something. Wait, that's 2012 actually. But of course, like I said earlier, Happy was a big hit for Despicable Me 2. 10 years though, everyone was still having like those iPhone problems. Like you're having like an internet problem or some sort, or you just downloaded too many apps or you have don't have enough storage or something. We got like new mobile devices at that time, but some of them just stink on ice and were discontinued for some reason. 10 years though, now we got the best new iPhones ever today. And Samsung, well, maybe we don't know much about Samsung back then at that time. 10 years though, when the new Wiggles lineup started at that time, Anthony was star Blue Wiggle after Greg Murray and Jeff left, the original guys. And now we get three new fellow members. That red opera singer, that purple not so much sleeper, and that yellow female one at that time. Those guys trying to figure out a way how to fit the lineup with a female I'm not sure about it, but it kind of got well years later. It was fine enough because the three new Wiggles can sing. But that all changed when the newer guys came today. The newer guys, I mean, you get like eight Wiggles now instead of four. What are you going to do with eight Wiggles? What's the heck? It's just Australia. What the hell? Australia purpose. I can imagine those internet junkies were like... Typing on the YouTube videos, heard the news about the, the new Wiggles replacing the old Wiggles. They were like, THE NEW WIGGLES SUCKS! They are like, yeah, you don't understand the purpose about it. Children's music stinks! What the hell is what? I like the old ones better! What the f Like, yeah, I just like the old Wiggles better. The new ones suck. What the hell? They're just a bunch of internet freaks, you know? Even social media. Social media has, like, problems back then. I don't know if they have problems at that time. I mean, Facebook is just kind of basic. You just post photos and then share like comments or something. And Twitter, you just like tweet messages throughout the the whole year or so. But Instagram, that app was still new at the time. People were not sure what the hell Instagram is all about. I mean, the app icon is just a dirty old camera looking photograph or something. I mean, you just don't get the point about it. Or how about Snapchat? Snapchat, you don't get the point about Snapchat either. I mean, that's like before you get like the filters that put on your face. Oh wait, you still get the filters at that time. Never mind. Snapchat's still getting its popularity still at that time, but now we get the popular Instagram and Snapchat today. And 10 years still when the new Fast and Furious movie came out. I'm sure after that, it was a big blockbuster hit at that time. But after that, Paul Walker's dead. He's no longer with us, actually. He got killed in a car crash incident. I mean, we don't know if they're going to do any more Fast and Furious movies. 
after Paul Walker died. But we did today. Still, Dwayne Rock Johnson, he's still rocking it out. And 10 years still, Skylanders was still a thing. Skylanders Swap Force was out on October 13th. We were, we were like so freaking excited about the new Skylanders game because it was like better than Spyro's Adventures and Giants because the new game graphics, it was more better than the previous two ones at that time. And when we were little kids, we always watched like kids that were some like YouTuber kids, you know, we watched like Evan Tube HD or Bray Taylor, you know, and Alien and Haley and Caleb and uh, Katie's mama and uh, that Skyland boy and girl junk. Uh, not about that Skyland boy and girl, they're pretty much more into the comedy than the reviews or entertainment process. I mean, Skyland boy and girl, Mikey was a very anxious kid at that time. And Lexi is quite like the same thing too. He was kind of like acting, she was kind of like an, acting like a boy or something. Like, she's always, always banging the daddy to do this stuff. And she's, and that, and that, she's always c curious to know if daddy done all this stuff. Like, she's smart, quite the smart one. And Chase was still a little infant at the time. A little baby. He was, he'd be like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's the fun part. And years, though. Now the kids have grown up and they're gaining their big popularity in gaming and they just launched four books as of today. And their vlogs are pretty more intense with a lot of special effects graphics. That's how they've done their vlogs. And most of their gaming videos. And their skits. I just like the old ones better. As I remember, people were still making fun of OJ Simpson and Sarah Palin. Like... Who is this guy? I don't know. Teenagers still doing drugs? Maybe that. But thank goodness we're done with all of that. Because we're now living in the new millennium. And that's all pretty much I want to talk about this year. And we have gone through craziness back in 2013. And we know that 2024 will be a big success. So I want to thank you all for welcoming us in 2023 and I hope I'll get to see you all in the newer millennium of today. <laughs>